All right, so we just experienced real stupidity. So we're parked, kind of parallel parked in a parking lot, and these knuckleheads do this to me. Yep, just pulled right in. Pulled right in front of us. Didn't even think, just pulled straight in, got me completely blocked in. That's a lack of situational awareness right there. All right, so what are we doing? Where are we going? Pismo Beach. Well, here we are, Pismo Beach, and all the clams we can eat. So we stopped to get your gas mm -hmm. and, and take a little dog potty and to pick up some LCDs. Ooh, the chocolate donuts, they're the best. Just a little road snack. All right, so we're back on the road. We'll see you at Pismo Beach. So sometimes some of the coolest shit happens when you're traveling. So we're on our way to Pismo and I had to pee. So we pull off to find a spot to park so I can use the, the head in the trailer. And we like stumble onto, it's like an old abandoned mall, like a big, you know, mall that's just completely abandoned. I think it was called the promenade because that's what's on the sign over there. But yeah, man, so now now it's it's lunchtime in the parking lot of an old abandoned mall. Mm. Well, good morning, kids. It's uh, day one at Pismo Beach. Uh, we got in a little late last night, so had to kind of set up in the dark, which was the first time that we've done that. The spaces here are tiny like super tiny spaces i don't think we've stayed at a place that had spaces this small before um today we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do so possibly possibly wine tasting day maybe go to the beach day i don't know we'll figure it out tony's still sleeping a little bit so i'm gonna make some coffee check my email that kind of stuff it's still early it's like 4 30 in the morning but you know when you're old you get up early so yeah we'll figure out what we're gonna do and then we're gonna go do it all right so day one of adventure day in pismo beach in pismo beach uh we have to make a quick run to best buy i have to pick up a couple of things and then we are off to wine country wine country paso robles here's a trick a lot of people don't know this but here's a trick when you go wine tasting if you're in an area that has a lot of wineries, just buy one tasting and share it. You can do that. Mm -hmm. That way, you're not getting hammered by the first three. <laughs> you can do that, but yet you can still drive from winery to winery. From winery. <laughs> but I want to end the day on the sand dunes at Pismo Beach with my dog and my husband and a bottle of wine. I think that is a swell idea and a wonderful way to end the day. So, let's get this thing on the road. Here's the downside of only staying in a place like this for a couple of days. Just walking down the street, there's been about 37 places that we want to go spend the day at and hang out at. <laughs> Tiki bars. I think we just found our place in Paso Robles. It's like a tiki bar. You know how we are about tiki bars. We have one in our backyard. Oh, but you know what? It's not It's not one of those kind of places. Because the pineapples are right side. <laughs> They're right side up. A um, couple of great, cool little wine tasting places. We walked by one and there was a guy that's like, oh, this is the jazz club. That's great. Uh, yeah, I'd love to hang out there too. So yeah, we got to come back and spend like a week here. Definitely. Just to check all these places out. Definitely. We just found um, a place in downtown Paso Robles that's called the Brown Butter Cookie Company. Tony Tao loves brown butter on anything. So we're gonna try these and see if they're any good. 
another piece? Sure. But I want you to taste because I've already tasted one, so. Lean in, thoughts. Mm-hmm. They're like soup. Mm-hmm. 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 So the amount of butter in these is unbelievably amazing. Oh. Oh. You want bite nature? Here's an oatmeal one here for help. Mmm. So, you know, there's certain vloggers that I know that you watch that will be out on tr hiking trails and biking trails and adventuring out in the outdoors. You're not gonna get that with us. <laughs> You're gonna get brown butter cookies, baby. Mm. These things are so good. I wanna try, the, there's a the big ones, there's one that's like a chocolate one. All right, hold on. Mm. Oh my God, that's like heaven. I'm having a moment. <laughs> There's gonna to need to be an explicit that rating on this. Melts in your mouth. <laughs> I know, man. All right, so are we heading to Opolo? We're heading to a winery. Are we heading to Opolo? Do you want to head to Opolo? I want to head to Opolo. Opolo is one of our favorite, favorite wines of all time. Okay. So we'll see you at Opolo. We drove out to the countryside to one of our favorite vineyards, Opolo. Their Mountains Inn is by far one of our favorite wines. They also have a nice patio area where you can relax and enjoy a glass. We then headed over to Oso Libre, which is a much smaller winery. We had a lovely conversation with the owner and head winemaker, which got us a couple extra tastes. In the end, the Revolution Red was our favorite and was the bottle that we left with. I've learned something about Tony Tao and I. We need to spend more time in any place that we go because we're not the type of people that we're gonna like show up in Paso Robles and go, okay, we're gonna do 10 wineries today. Man. No, we've done two. And the reason that we've done two is because we-, we talk to people. <laughs> we talk to people. So we met this wonderful lady at the first winery, winery we went to, to called Opolo. And she was, she had just come off of two years of full-time full living in an RV. Um, her and her husband. So we talked to her about that. And then we show up here at, at uh, Oso Libre and wind up talking to, to, the to the winemaker here. Michael. His name's Michael, who who also, he had a background in business and then went into to, to making wine. Yeah, we just need to like, when we go places, we need to stay for a couple weeks. Yeah, cause we just, cause we're not gonna see everything cause we like to talk to people. Okay, one more important thing. Not so much for millennials, because you guys, you guys know how to do some of this. But for you, you Gen Z folks, uh, this thing is not gonna work out here in the hills with these wineries. So if you need directions to get from one place to another, get a map. Get a map because you're not gonna have cell service out out here in some of these places. Um, that's it. Are we gonna we're gonna go try and get to the beach before the sun sets? We got about an hour to get tacos, get to the dunes, and watch a sunset. Will we make it? Bum 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 bum. All right, sunset update. We are T minus 10 miles from the taco shop. Can we do it? Tony Tao says we can do it. T minus four miles to the taco shop and we hit traffic. So get off the freeway. Tony's theory is to get off the freeway and it'll reroute us. We're getting off the freeway, man. I see a place that's got a drive-through that has hamburgers, shakes, fish and chips. Stop. We do that or we keep going? Oh, we keep going. Oh, good thing you decided to keep going because that place is all boarded up. Cape Cod Eatery and Tap House. Relax. Sandoz Deli. Should have never let Tony Tao drink wine and navigate. Here we are, Pismo Beach. <laughs> and all the clams you can eat. Thank you. I was waiting for it. 
Okay, we made it to Juanita's. They're actually parking. We're gonna go grab tacos, and, and we're really fighting the sun going down. But we might make it. Here we go. Wah, wah, wah. Juanita's, question. Why? It's 4.15, why are you closed? Where'd my phone go? Uh, I see a sign that says sushi and barbecue. No. That's, that's a horrible that's idea. Horrible. All right, so failure tonight on getting to the dunes for sunset. But we're off to get a beer and some food in a dog-friendly place. So that's a plus. We promise tomorrow we get to the dunes.